Look to Omron Automation and Safety as your partner for world-class machine automation and safeguarding solutions that meet your needs for operator protection and increased productivity. Visit Omron247.com to learn more. Employees in manufacturing facilities work with machines, tools, and equipment every day. Workplaces couldn't operate without them. However, if they are not used and maintained properly, interacting with these tools may result in serious injuries or fatalities. Contact with machinery is routinely in the top five hazards within manufacturing facilities. It's no wonder then that as part of the industrial sector plan for 2014-2015, the Ontario Ministry of Labour is focusing on machine guarding during its industrial sector blitz, which is running from November 3rd to December 14th, 2014. Contact with machinery can lead to severe injuries, and for some workers who have been doing the same task day after day, it can become routine, and unfortunately, safety awareness can wane. While contact with machinery isn't among the most common issues, it can certainly be severe, and an accident will definitely push that issue to the forefront. Use this blitz as a catalyst to revisit this topic. Here are some questions you should be working hard to answer. Is your safeguarding adequate? How do you know the safeguarding is satisfactory? Answers like it came that way or nothing ever happened before are not reasonable responses. Dig a little deeper. Are safety interlocks bypassed to support certain tasks? Is lockout skipped because the fix is a quick one? Very often in the day-to-day -day rush of a familiar environment, you can't see the forest for the trees. Alert workers and supervisors that machine safety is a current blitz topic. Make sure they know about the hazards in the workplace and most importantly, what guarding is in place to protect them. Do you have a history of machine guarding orders with the Ministry of Labour? Follow up on those issues and ensure they've been suitably addressed. Let people who run a given machine or process know they can report concerns. Consider having some of your health and safety committee representatives, maintenance workers or engineers get more training on this subject so you can have an internal resource. These are just a few ways to keep your workers current and make your workplace a safe one. <laughs>